Hey, I'm Serge from Sister Safan. So I hope you guys are all safe with everything that's going on. Um, I just uh, wanted to make a little video. I uh, didn't manage to make one before. Uh, we did get an update. I think it's not going to be a big one. Um, I think it's 2020.8.3. So we're not getting 2018.12 here in Switzerland. Uh, at least not for everybody. Um, I know a few cars got it, but uh, it seems like uh, Tesla doesn't want to roll this uh, further. So uh, we're going to get uh, started with the install and we'll see if anything changes with it. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so the update uh, has finished downloading and we're now going to launch it right now. So let me cut the air here and install now. And I think if I remember correctly, yeah, you can actually tap it to start it. And now it says stop the software updating to 2020.8.3. So we're going to wait until it's finished and uh, we'll come and get back to uh, the video once it's finished. All right, so the update has uh, finished and much to my surprise, we did get new stuff. So it seems like we have the driving visualization improvements. So we'll check those out. TV party! We have the third party charging stations. So that means that uh, basically we can also get the chargers that are not in the supercharger network. Um, we have the improved voice command reliability. So that should be really good. Then we have some additional language support and additional owner's, lang manage, um, owner's manual language. So those are not that important for us, but uh, it's I'm really surprised that we get the um, driving uh, visualization improvements. So we're going to check those out as uh, soon as uh, we get on the road. But we also have to activate them because they're not activated by default. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to go into here, autopilot, and full self-driving visualization preview, you need to activate that. And so it says, displays additional objects, which include traffic lines, stop signs, selected road markings and obstacles. Yay! So that's what we were hoping for. So we're, we're gonna turn it on and uh, let's go. Okay, we can see here, we have the lights. We can see one that's red, but the others, we can't see what they are. And we see the line markings, lane markings here also. So it's available in Switzerland, that's cool. And now we're going to get on the highway and we're going to see what's going to, go, what's going to happen. So the light is still red. And we see it's detecting other lights. Oh, one that just turned red. And how are we going to know which one is ours? So this one is like flashing between red and not red. That's kind of weird. picking up those cars all the way back there so that's a lot better too it's picking up cars a lot further and now is it green green nope <laughs> okay so that didn't work GTO. so it's detecting these lights now green. and now my ours is green yeah that works and now guys for the last accident oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now are we lucky uh, that was an Audi R8 for those of you who didn't see it. <laughs> okay, what I noticed is that it even sees the line, the line markings on the other lanes uh, in the other direction, but that, that one was just wrong. So it seems like it's not perfect either. So it doesn't detect roundabouts either. That's not good. And it doesn't. In 200 meters. It doesn't also uh, detect these uh, crossings, which I think is a shame because that's important also. And I just saw it. Which, saw by the way, is a big question: is if you have an autonomous car, how will it detect that somebody's waiting to cross uh, the, the road? Uh, that's a difficult exit. problem. Okay, and we just had a red light, and it just shifted to green again. So that one worked. Yeah. I don't know why the highway one didn't work. That's strange. And so we don't have the update uh, that will stop, neither do the Americans. But it's rumored that the uh, update will come out in a few weeks. And uh, yeah, and here you can see again, it sees the, uh, the lights again. Mm -hmm. So probably in a few weeks, uh, Tesla will release the update that will stop at red lights and at stop signs. Unfortunately, we don't have a stop sign on our 
uh, trip here. Uh, but um, it'd be interesting if it, not, it recognizes the Swiss stop signs also, uh, because of course they need to recognize uh, different signs in different countries. Okay, we're in a 30 zone, and there were some markings on the ground, but it didn't pick them up. And here you can see that the uh, markings, uh, see, sorry, the speed limit is wrong. It's exactly a 30 zone and still says 50 here. So my shift. So we're gonna come to another sign here. It says 30 on the ground. Uh, let's see if it picks it up. No, no, not yet. So I guess it still has to learn those. Okay, so here we should be coming to a stop sign. Yeah, I see yes. it already. And there's right, a right person there. here. We gotta be careful. Right there, guys, if you don't see, uh, if you don't see. So, uh, there's a car pick it up. I see something, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a stop. And that's good because the sign is actually a little bit hidden and it still picked it up, so that's good. So we can see, yeah, here clearly it sees it, but now it doesn't see it anymore because now we've passed the stop sign. Oh no, it's still there. Okay, interesting. So we still have the stop sign that's next to our car. So that's good. It works really well. We're going to turn left here. All right, so that clearly worked. We're going to have some traffic lights coming up soon. Yeah. And so we're going to check if those work also. I hope so. Cross our fingers. Everybody. 200 subs equals 2,000 subs. Police car there. Be careful. And little kid. I know, I know him. You, uh, okay, you. so there's a traffic light here. Let's see what it does. Does it recognize? Okay, we have some lane markings also. Yep, so it does cap have those. Oh, yeah. And also the green light. And uh, and the green light, absolutely. Yeah, everything's and who here. Honked? I don't know who honked. Okay, now here we have these giveaway signs. Did it does it see those? No, it does not. Yeah. So giveaway signs are not yet available. So that's something that I'll also have to learn. And here again we have zone 30 markings, which it doesn't pick up. And you wonder when uh uh, why are we going on this on on this road? Actually, if we continue uh, all the way and you turn, that's actually my school. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Oh, what is that? It picked up a trash can. Yeah, it picks up trash cans here. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we do have the trash can detection also in Switzerland, <laughs> so that's very important. I, I, I detected before my... Detection. There's a reason why it has trash can detection in the US, because people put their trash can really on the road, and so it can be an obstacle, but here people don't do that uh, the same way, so it's not a big problem. But it's interesting that even though it was way far away from the road, it was still picking up the trash can. So. That's, that's my school over there. And still none of these markings. It seems to be picking up uh, people walking a lot better yeah, in this cool. update. And down here we're gonna have again a giveaway sign. And uh, I'm pretty sure those won't be... Okay, so a lot of people walking here. That's a big problem. Yeah. So, gotta be careful. Oh. Yeah. But those those showed up late on the on the car. Okay, okay so, here, so here we have a giveaway with a roundabout and it's not showing anything, so that doesn't work. Oh yes, it's showing the car. Okay, so now um basically what can we think about these this upgrade? Um basically the uh Previalization, well, it's not perfect, uh, to be honest. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more, as you saw on the highway. Uh, it actually couldn't even resolve uh, the 
uh, lights correctly, which is weird because I saw some demos in the US where it was working really well. Uh, but here, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, and uh, also, yeah, giveaways do not work. Uh, so that's also a limitation. Uh, if the car has to drive autonomously, you will have to recognize those. I'm pretty sure it probably does it already in the background, but uh, they haven't activated that yet. Uh, lane markings were like a, a hit or miss kind of thing where um, a few times you recognize them correctly and sometimes it got confused with the ones that are on the other side of the road and wasn't too sure which ones those were. So uh, yeah, clearly there's uh, there's some improvement to be made. Now I haven't put this on the video, but uh, I also tested the improvements in the um, voice recognition and yes, I would say it seems to be back to the levels it was before they changed it. Uh, so that's good to know. Uh, at least there won't be any problems with that. Uh, at least I hope so. And um, yeah, that's mostly it for this update. So if you like this video, make sure to put a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button in the notification bell to get notified when I release uh, the next video. And last but not least, um, thank you everyone who's used my referral code. I know it's not the best time for you to think about buying a car, but you know, if you're interested in buying one of these cars, maybe in the future, um, you really should be using a referral code. Um, I'll put mine in the description below and you'll get uh, free stuff such as uh, free supercharger electricity, at least uh, for the current time. All right, that's it. I hope everybody's staying safe and stay at home as much as possible. Here, that was my only trip out for the week. And uh, we just went on a little walk because uh, we'd go crazy in our apartment where we don't even have a view. We don't have a balcony and we have no windows, so uh, only roof windows. So yeah, stay home, stay safe, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.